Trump, U. S. Military locked and loaded for North Korea. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea ratcheted up on Friday, as President Donald Trump doubled down on military threats. Military solutions are now fully in place, locked and loaded, should North Korea act unwisely, Trump tweeted Friday morning. Hopefully Kim Jong-un will find another path. Trump did not offer any specifics related to his threat. The U.S military in the region surrounding the Korean peninsula always remains prepared with both defensive and offensive capabilities, should North Korea launch an attack. Ready to fight tonight, is their motto. Trump's latest tweet came not long after a Chinese state-run newspaper said China should remain neutral if North Korea launches an attack that threatens the United States, sounding a warning for Pyongyang over its plans to fire missiles near the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam. The comments from the influential Global Times came after Trump stepped up his rhetoric on Thursday against North Korea, saying his earlier threat to unleash fire and fury on Pyongyang if it launched an attack may not have been tough enough. China, North Korea's most important ally and trading partner, has reiterated calls for calm during the current crisis. Beijing has expressed frustration with both Pyongyang's repeated nuclear and missile tests and with behavior from South Korea and the U.S such as military drills, that it sees as increasing tensions. China should also make clear that if North Korea launches missiles that threaten U.S. soil first and the U.S. retaliates, China will stay neutral, the Global Times, which is widely read but does not represent government policy, said in an editorial. If the U.S. and South Korea carry out strikes and try to overthrow the North Korean regime and change the political pattern of the Korean Peninsula, China will prevent them from doing so," it said. Just a day earlier, North Korea's state-run KCNA news agency said its army would complete plans in mid-August to fire four intermediate-range missiles over Japan to land near Guam. Trump said earlier this week Kim was not going to get away with his horrific comments and disrespecting America. Let's see what he does with Guam. He does something in Guam, it will be an event the likes of which nobody's seen before. What will happen in North Korea, Trump told reporters from the steps of his golf resort in Bedminster, N.J. On Thursday, he also said his previous promise of fire and fury in response to threats from North Korea may have not gone far enough vowing trouble for the country if its actions don't change. If anything, maybe that statement, about fire and fury, wasn't tough enough, Trump said Thursday. Shortly after Trump spoke, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis told reporters the United States still preferred a diplomatic approach to the North Korean threat and that a war would be catastrophic. Asked if the United States was ready if North Korea made a hostile act, he said, we are ready.